I always believe there's a hierarchy of needs in real estate. And it goes such as this. They start online, they see the pretty pictures, the pretty pictures suck them in, yep. they want to see it in person, they walk in in person, they fall in love, they want to write the offer. Yep. And you got to get them there and you got to keep them in that property for a while. I'm a big believer. I give one hour windows mm -hmm. for all of my listings. I tell my, and I tell my uh, clients, get out of the property. I know it's going to be horrible. It's for an hour. All right. Now it might be for two or three hours because you may have two or three appointments back to back, back to back, back. Yeah. Take the short term pain and discomfort for five or seven days. Right. And get the house under contract. Yeah, because here's the thing. If they don't have enough time, in my opinion, they're just going to ask to come back. No. They're going to want to see it a second time. Or they're going to, you know. The, the problem is, is they don't necessarily come back. They get rushed through. Or they rush away. They go away. And okay. they, they go to, a, well, they like it a lot. They didn't get to stay in the house long enough to fall in love with it. Right. And sometimes I've seen clients go to another property that I'm going, this isn't as nice as the other one. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah, no, 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 because they got to stay in that property longer. And they they walk they probably walk around the house. I know when I was shopping with my kids, it was like, this is going to be my room, and this is going to be my room, and they do all that time to explore, and it really does change the feeling. And so. I, you know what? I encourage kids to do that. Yeah, absolutely. Tugs at the parents. <laughs> well, it, it, the kids sometimes are very uncomfortable about yeah. moving. 